well, 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 the 2010 Bills are a remarkable accomplishment, a prodigious achievement. You said it, they're putrid. Week, was week two of the NFL season, and after a tr an atrocious performance last week against our division rivals, the Miami Dolphins, we went into Green Bay, the hollowed ground of the NFL, Lambeau Field, as 13-point underdogs, and I'm hoping for at least a good performance. And you know, what do we get? Another horrid, putrid performance by a team that seems pretty hapless when Trent Edwards is the quarterback. First uh, drive from a first drive for the Bills, what do they do? They have two runs. Then on the third one, he goes back to pass, and lo and behold, one player with great NFL bloodlines shows why he's one of the big new forces on defense. Clay Matthews Jr. is a beast. He's just like his grandpa, his father, and his uncle. Great NFL bloodlines. All three of them had long NFL careers, especially his father, who definitely should be in the Hall of Fame. And I should say over 20 years ago, it was his father who shattered dreams on that field in Cleveland for the Bills when the Bills were driving to the apparent winning score in that AFC playoff game. Even though Kelly overthrew Hartman, Harmon on a pass that Harmon should have caught, he forced the ball and Matthews ended the hopes. But you know, this Clay Matthews, his son, is showing why he's a beast. Three times he got to Trent Edwards on this hapless Sunday. And hapless is definitely one of the adjectives I love to describe with this Bills team. It seems as though they get the ball, they don't know what to do with it. And Trent Edwards, only 101 passing yards. Of course, factor in the four times Matthews and his teammates got in to sack him. It was only like 50, 60 net yards of passing. Only... 50, 60 net yards. And Lee Evans, the number one receiver in the Bills, he did only had one throw, pass thrown his way all game. And on that play, he draws an interference penalty. What good is your number one weapon when you don't throw to him? And what about the other receivers? Letting balls slip through their hands right into the hands of the Packers, who take those two interceptions and drive for scores. What is it with this offense? 166 total yards against the Dolphins, 186 total yards against the Packers, and quite a bit of it was in garbage time. Although that drive in the second quarter started to raise eyebrows for Bills fans, Nice running by Marshawn Lynch, who showed he could still put it into beast mode when he can. And a nice little touchdown jaunt by fast Freddie Jackson. But that's all the highlights of this game. There's plenty of lowlights right now, Bills fans. Getting stomped on at Lambeau Field, the hallowed ground of the NFL. Vince Lombardi probably definitely was snickering in his grave, knowing that the Bills were coming to Lambeau Field. All in all, it adds up to a pretty sound 34-7 thrashing at the hands of the Packers. 0-2. Of course, we could take solace that a team that wasn't expected to be 0-2 is along with us, the Minnesota Vikings. And also... 0-2 oh, is the Baltimore Ravens. Oh, wait a minute, they're 1-1. One one. Pardon me, I got my facts mixed up. 
but whatever with these specs. You know, this Bills team is officially ranked dead last on a lot of NFL power rankings. And you know, it's deservedly so. But for this, it only incre this guy, it only increases the pain. 32nd. What can we do to get better? First, Buffalo decided to pull the trigger. They're going to start Ryan Fitzpatrick in our next game against those divisional foes that seem to be the bane of our existence. You know who I'm talking about, Bills fans. I'm talking about the Patriots. Because we travel to Foxborough to play them this coming Sunday in a stadium where Buffalo has yet to win a game. That's right. We have yet to beat the Patriots in Gillette Stadium. How quaint. And I think we've lost to the Patriots like 12, 13 straight times. It's the streak, the sequel. For those of you who remember all those years ago, those 20 consecutive times we lost to the Dolphins. And you know, pretty boy Brady is probably licking his chops, getting ready to carve up this Bills defense, throwing all over the place. Because it's only once in his career that pretty boy Brady has tasted defeat against the Bills. Who knows? Maybe he could uh, love his pretty wife, Miss Bungeon, a little too much. And maybe while they're making love, he gets an injury that affects his pa passing. As you know, that may be the only way the Bills can win this game. After these two horrid performances... What do we got to look forward to? Not much. But ho let's hope that we can finally break this hoax. I'm sick of losing to New England. What about you? We'll see. I'm Ken Haas. That's my story. And woe is me for now.